David Suttle from KUWB next to now junior Taylor Rusk with the Wyoming Calgary basketball program. Is it hard to hear that you're a junior already? Yeah, I cannot believe it. These last few years have just blown by. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you're one of the upperclassmen, but there's a number of you on this team. I guess from an experience standpoint, what are you doing to impress upon the newcomers and some pretty talented girls at that? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a different team this year. Um, like you said, we have a lot of upperclassmen, seniors, um, and then we have six freshmen, so it's very, like, in the middle. Um, but, you know, we just got to set that example in practice and show what we've been doing the past couple of years, just like the upperclassmen did for us when we were younger. So just setting that example and showing how things are done. Yeah. What's, how would you describe the first week of practice? You know, I actually think it went really well. Um, but, like with six freshmen, I kind of had maybe not the best expectations. Um, it's just so much, so fast, and you just got to keep up constantly. But they're doing a great job. Um, and with six of them, like we need them to do a good job uh, to keep the intensity and competitiveness of practice going. What what type of expectations do you have upon yourself, especially coming off kind of the way you ended last season in a pretty good flourish? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I think I had some confidence at the end of last year that I definitely want to take into this year. Um, I think at the end of last year, you know, just that how successful we were and how close we were uh, really just kind of like brought out uh, that competitiveness in me and. I need to just learn to take that for the whole year. Um, okay. For the whole year. So. What, what about what does Coach Joe and the rest of the staff kind of talk to you about in terms of expectations as a veteran, as maybe almost a go-to player now? The lid's gone. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's hard because I know Coach always says like, don't do too much and like, don't change who you are as a player, which uh, I definitely believe in that too. And with our system, um, it's nice because everybody can score with our motion offense. And um, I know defensively, um, last year I was uh, kind of called upon to be the one to get the stops and everything on that like one player that they had. And um, I'm hoping that Coach does confidence in me to do that this year. Uh, but yeah, just continue on offense on who I am and uh, probably be more aggressive and just keep shooting the ball. All right. Um... What do you feel like you need to do from a team standpoint to get ready for games in about a month? I mean, you're still a month away. Yeah, um, it seems like a long time, but it's going to go by so fast. And um, I think just Coach always talks about getting better every day and keeping that um, competitiveness in practice. I mean, October is long because all you're doing is practicing for two and a half, three hours a day. Um, without that like, motivation for games, it gets a little hard, but we just got to bring it out in each other and know that games are coming up and once November hits, it starts flying back. All right, a little rapid fire. Let's do, uh, how would you describe the freshman? If you could sum them up in one word. <laughs> Can I say freshman? <laughs> because all of them are <laughs> Freshman. <laughs> We're describing the freshman as freshman, that's fine. Like, no that's... other way to put it. <laughs> some of them seem lost? Um, I mean, in terms of basketball, um, I think they're doing a great job okay. uh, keeping up with it. I'm, obviously, it's a shock in, in every aspect of your life, so. Have you been surprised by any of the freshmen? Yeah, I have. Um, I think a lot of them, a couple of them have really stood out, and we need um, a couple of them, too. Um, I think we're going to have some of them play this year, um, so they're definitely stepping up. Um, I think they are starting to realize how difficult it can be to play at the college level and just like the pace and everything and expectations, um, okay. but they're doing a great job. All right, uh, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, or another flavor you like? Um, chocolate. Chocolate? Uh, if you could devour a chocolate treat for a day without any sort of penalty ever, what would it be? Um, dark chocolate. Raspberries or Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, favorite pregame music? Um, I would say probably rap. Rap, yeah. Favorite artist right now? Um, or multiple artists. We could throw in a couple. Yeah, um, I mean, I'm still a country fan too. Um, definitely. I think my favorite rapper would probably be J. Cole. Okay, all right, all right. I know who that is. Yeah. You say that like I don't know who that is. That's okay. I'm old now. Um, let's see. Uh, 
weirdest pregame ritual you've seen a, a teammate go through? Um, Anything just jump out at you like, what in the world are you doing type of thing? Um, Marlia Campbell used to like tie her, she had to like put her shoes on and tie them at like the same time before every game. It's so weird. Like, the certain amount of time before. Oh, okay. I was, I was like, how do you do that? That's pretty talented. One, no, one no, more. no. Yeah, like the same amount. Of, yeah, it was. Uh, but whatever works for you. Do you ever get lost when um, the now foreign cowgirls, because there's a bunch of them now, I think there's like 10, mm -hmm. do you ever get lost in terms of what they're saying to each other? Um, They're really good at just always speaking English because. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, sometimes the Spanish girls, I'm sure it's easier, but they're really good at always speaking English because. They don't know each other's languages like, either, so we have to use <laughs> some kind of mutual uh, communication. But no, favorite they're... coach Joe quote uh, or saying? Oh gosh, um, probably. <laughs> Nothing stands out to you. Nah, How about a favorite G true. statement? How about a favorite big G saying? Um, oh my God, I'm so good at quotes. Um. <laughs> Putting you on the spot. Just, uh, the other day he said in practice, um, someone was just watching the game and he goes, hey, I have season tickets up there. Why don't you just go watch the game with me? <laughs> so he's always the hoot, man. Uh, can, uh, can Coach Heather and Coach Fallon still beat you? Um, me and Coach Heather, I was here this summer and we played a lot of one-on-one. -on -one and I'm going to say it's kind of even because Ooh. Heather... Good, yeah, she's, she's still good. pretty good. Coach Fallon beat you at all? I've never played against her, oh. so I don't know. All right. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to see, yeah. <laughs> well, best luck to you this season. Thank I appreciate you. it. That is Taylor Rusk, one of the juniors and upperclassmen leading the Cowgirls in 2018-19.